हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ आकाश प्रजापति सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट पाइथन प्री कमिट विथ पाइलिंट सो नाउ लेट्स गो टू द एजेंडा सो वॉट इज पाइलिंट पाइलिंट इंस्टॉलेशन एंड कन्फिग्रेशन वॉट इज प्री कमिट इंस्टॉल प्री कमिट एंड कन्फिग्रेशन सो वॉट इज पाइलिंट पाइलिंट इज अ स्टेटिक कोड एनालाइजर पैकेज सो पाइलिंट एनालिसिस योर कोड विदाउट एक्चुअली रनिंग इट इट चेक्स फॉर एरर्स एंड फोर्सिस अकोडिंग स्टैंडर्ड लुक्स फॉर कोड स्मेल इट कैन मेक सजेशंस अबाउट हाउ द कोड कुड बी रिफैक्टर पाइलिंट इज अ हाईली कन्फिग्रेबल एंड परमिट्स टू राइट प्लग इन इन ऑर्डर टू एड योर ओन चेक फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर इंटरनल लाइब्रेरीज और एन इंटरनल रूल्स सो लाइक इंस्टॉलेशन पाइलिंट एंड कन्फिग्रेशन सो लाइक देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ वे टू इंस्टॉल पाइलिंट लाइक यू कैन यूज पी आई पी ब्री ए पी टी गेट्स एंड आफ्टर सक्सेसफुली इंस्टॉल यू कैन चेक लाइक यू पाइल सक्सेसफुली इंस्टॉल और नॉट यूजिंग पाइलिन डेस डेस वर्जन कमांड एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रन पाइलिन कमांड देन यू नीड टू सिंपली राइट अ पाइलिन एंड द वॉट एवर पाइथन फाइल नेम सो लेट्स मूव इन टू द पाइथन फाइल नेम सो दिस इज माई पाइथन फाइल नेम सो नाउ I want to run the pilot on uh, this file. So you simply just need to write pilot and whatever the file name like a test dot pi. And after uh, execute this command, you can see like pilot give lots of suggestions, coding standard based practices and errors if any. So you can see on uh, this fifty six line unnecessary parent if keyword, uh, bad indentation, missing module doc string. like you have used constant but uh, that constant in lower case so you need to use in upper case so like uh, there are lots of suggestion so in a pilot like uh, there are lots of set of rules right so based on that rules uh, pilot give this all the suggestions also there are other configuration option as well like uh, errors only configuration so like if you use uh, this command errors only then you see like a uh, pilot only give the uh, errors suggestion like uh, on this line this error then pilot only give this output right uh, there are also configuration like output format colorize so if you are use uh, this configuration like output format equal to colorize then you can see like a uh, pilot give output in a colorized format also uh, you can see the score of your file python file so you just simply need to use a score equal to yes and you can see like here like out of 10 uh, how much score you gain in uh, this file also there are other configuration like reports so reports is a really very good configurations so you can see like a report wise so like a statistic wise uh, they give the report row matrix wise message category wise message wise like uh, you can see like a uh, invalid names 16 time occurrence bad integration 6 time occurrence so pilot is a really very useful tool uh, with static code analyzer that give uh errors that give really good coding standard suggestions so my personal suggestion for each and every developer is use this package so now let's move on what is pre commit nowadays you know like all company use versioning control system right so most of use git and we know like we need to push our code on server and some company use the pull request as well as like a our code review by some reviewer so you know like uh, some reviewer very frustrated uh, like when each and every time they found silly mistake or coding standard mistake so it's a very good you use the pilot and pre commit so your re reviewer feel good like a reviewer only needs to focus on main logic not this type of silly mistake so in a pre commit like a git hook script are useful for identifying simply issue before submission to code review so we run our hook on every commit to automatically point out an issue in our code like a missing semicolon trailing wise 
space debug statement other pile-in set of rules so all these type of suggestion or errors are uh, giving in each and every commit so you simply like pointing this issue out before your code so this allow a code reviewer to focus on architecture of change while not wasting time with trivial style nitpicks so this is all about the pre commit so you can also install pre commit like uh, using pip and brief and after a successful installation pre commit you can check like uh, it's a successfully installed or not using the pre commit dash dash version command so after uh, what you need to do like uh, in your uh, python project you simply need to create a uh, one file like a uh, dot pre commit config dot yml file on that file you need to configure the whatever set of rules you need to define and uh, after that you need to install pre commit on your project so you can use pre commit install command that actually install the pre commit hook on your project so whenever you git commit that uh, com uh, that rules is executed and in that rules uh, you have a set of rules in a configure a yml file so that all the rules executed on your modified file and uh, give the output if uh, any error occurs and if uh, no error occurs then successfully commit and you can push your code right so now uh, this is our uh, basic dot pre commit uh, yml file so let's move into the code and i will show you like uh, this is my uh, pre commit config yml file you can see like uh, i have uh, used this package in uh, this package like uh, there are set of rules like a uh, need to check uh, trailing white space uh, end of file fixture uh, like case conflict check doc string check this all the rules uh, i am getting uh, in uh, this repo and uh, other thing also i have used like a pile in so i have used uh, my local pile in uh, package to analyze our static code so like what happened so when you can see like uh, this is my uh, python project and i have i added the git so i have modified this file like a test dot test dot uh, pa file i modify so what happened like uh, when i execute the git commit command right so what happened so this uh, commit uh, go to uh, this yml file and uh, whatever uh, like a set of rules that execute in my test dot pa file so uh, you can see like uh, when I execute git commit they first uh, give me the output based on uh, this package and set of rules and after you see like uh, this is my pilot output and uh, you see all all the same suggestion coding standard rules coding stand all the coding standard suggestions and errors give by this git commit so uh, if uh, like a uh, there is no any errors or no any suggestion or all looks good then this commit is successfully added in our git and after that we can push our code otherwise uh, uh, this command are not allowed to uh, create a commit so this is very useful tool we definitely use in each and every our project in a python and also like uh, there are ops there are one option like uh, so or uh, like sometimes you don't need to like check uh, all the set of rules on a uh, git commit so you can add the no verify so in a no verify like we can write this one right and if you use a no verify right so uh, in in this case uh, uh, there is uh, no any set of rules executed on our file and uh, this automatically commit our code so in uh, this case uh, like uh, no any rules executed on our file no any coding standard checking nothing simply just commit and we can push so uh, that's it in a pre-commit and pile in so thank you and uh, if you like uh, if you really like uh, this video then you can like subscribe and share thank you